Our monochrome love affair began in the 1970s, when China gave the first pandas to the Smithsonian Zoo. And just last year, their newest baby had over two million visitors, all desperate to get a glimpse. So just why do we find pandas so appealing? Little Bao Bao's markings are beautiful. But there's something else about that face. Pandas aren't the largest bears. That title goes to brown bears and polar bears. But Bao Bao's head is noticeably much bigger and rounder than other bear cubs. It makes her look more like a teddy bear than a predator. It's this beautiful face that makes little Bao Bao so appealing. But why is it proportionately so much bigger and rounder than other bear cubs? Pandas are classed as carnivores. They have the teeth and claws of meat eaters, but they don't act like carnivores. Around five million years ago, pandas actually lost the taste for meat. They switched to the food source that was most abundant. A sensible choice, you'd think, except a stick of bamboo has barely any calories, especially compared with a hunk of red meat. Pandas have to eat as much as a third of their body weight, chewing for up to 16 hours every day just to survive. So their bodies have had to evolve to cope. The stomach lining has thickened to deal with splinters. But it's the panda's skull that has changed most dramatically. The bone has become much thicker and wider to allow huge cheek muscles to attach. The switch to a bamboo diet has created the panda's massive head. A head that has such an extraordinary appeal for us. The irony is, when covered with fur, this mass of muscle and bone looks like a teddy bear. <laughs>